Hi guys, Lethal's here. We're gonna do a uh, a naked survival, naked brutality survival. Let's see how far we get. We're gonna go everything random. Uh, we're gonna go rough, and we're gonna go commitment. Randomize the seed. We're gonna go random spot. So this third spot that we randomize on is where we're gonna land. Um, there are no mods on this setup. It's all just vanilla games. So one, two, three. All right, that's actually pretty good. Tropical rainforest means we don't have to worry about uh, the cold too much. And then there's nothing they're incapable of, so I'm just gonna leave that. It's actually pretty good traits. Um, construction's okay. So and they're not they're not dumb. So it should be pretty sweet with that. Let's jump straight in. It shouldn't take too long to load because we've got no mods on, so straight in. So one person and we're gonna make a base. It looks like we've got lots of wood to start with. And not much stone, or steel, or anything. So, literally nothing is the story right now. We have zero. There's no supplies dropped with us. There's no food. Um, what we'll be doing a lot of is looking for berries. We'll get a farm started straight away, but we can't even hunt because we don't even have any weapons or gear. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use this wall here. I'm going to chop out some area here. I might chop a few of these trees down, get some plants here, but build this into a bedroom to start with. So we'll do this. We'll build a roof. And we're going to harvest. We don't need to harvest that many. We've got two different berries here too. So. Get some food going going to production crafting spot because you'll use the crafting spot to pretty much make most of your basic things and then we want to chop some wood so that we can get this enclosed I ah, can't do any walls until I have some wood chopped so wolf is smashing that out the reason we want a bedroom quickly is because it is in tropical, so once the summer hits, it will actually get quite warm. So this will sort of start off as a storage place as well as bedroom. Um, we do have beds straight away. I thought sometimes you have to research that, but it must be only on like the tribal ones. So that's pretty good. So one of the first things we want to look at crafting is going to be a bow. So once we get a bow, we can start hunting some of the smaller things, like some of the rats, and we'll just do local. So I'll just go find them. Some of the chinchillas, see there's a rat there. Once we build up our leather, we can build some clothes and stuff, get some tribal wear going. So I think, so look, yeah, we can build it. And it's going to be 60 ingredients. So that's actually quite a few. Can you do your work? You can do everything, yeah. So I'm not prioritizing at the moment because I'll probably micromanage a little bit. Um, follow it around. So once we get this enclosed, I didn't place a bed because I didn't have the wood for it at the time. Let's go in this corner. Yes, yeah, sweet. So we have an enclosed room now. Um, even before we have a bed, I'm gonna do a sleeping spot because we probably won't build that today. It's gonna hit, what is it, 20 hours. Yeah, it's like nearly, it's nine o'clock at night. He's gonna go to bed soon. He's not even gonna finish building the bed. Maybe if I prioritize it. Yes, all right. Yeah, so we need more wood, so we're not even gonna finish it. 45, needs 40 more wood. Okay, so first night is, we're inside. Um, he's going to whinge about sleeping on the ground he's hungry he slept in the cold or for bedroom whole bunch of things 
that's probably the first one we need to look at for the next day is food. So let's go harvest. You just need to prioritize. So um, I don't even know what harvest would be. Tree cut, I guess. Tree cut, plant cut. Except I've got these, so I'm going to cancel those. I didn't finish what he's doing. Otherwise, we waste the work he's already done. So he's going to eat this straight away, I reckon. Yeah. That's cool. There's a couple, and he can eat a couple. Gonna get a grow zone right here. Quite clear, so there's not going to be much. Uh, doesn't have to chop any trees down. No extra work. I'm going to have some berries left over from today by the look of it, so that's good. He just wants to rest. Come on, you mother. Alright, got a bed up and running. We're no longer malnourished, which is really good. Slept in the cold, I'm not worried about. We're going to hit summer soon. Awful bedroom, yeah, we're working on that. Slept on ground, we've now got a bed. Ate without a table. The old meme of eating without a table. So we'll get this up and running. We can always move these around once they're built. So see, I can reinstall. Most furniture you can, so... Um, we'll look to get a dining room eventually. But what we've also got to worry about, we need to get this weapon going. So we're going to chop another tree down, get a weapon going, the bow, because we probably will get raided soon enough, especially with the, um, if we go to history, and you look at your wealth, obviously it's very low right now, it's slowly increasing, so once we get to certain points, we'll get raids, um, we'll get random events that determine um, what's going to happen, so how are we feeling today? Still naked, still ugly place. Got no recreation, so we can work on that. It's not probably the urge, most urgent thing right now. Um, we need to be looking at food, which we are. Didn't grab any backup, or he must have eaten it that day. Doesn't have carrion, no. So, bow is probably going to be the first thing. Let's craft first, craft the bow. Then we can look at killing some wildlife. We'll see if we can find any quickly while we're here. Alright, go equip the short bow. Alpacas and everything, but he's going to pick up the stuff that the, the berries. So we'll sort it for that. A couple more over here. So we've got some crops in to start with. That's only like a couple of days worth, but the berries are going to keep us going quite a bit as well. We might just hunt this guy as soon as he's just up here. How how's this guy for shooting? Didn't really look at it. Yeah, so this is gonna be a little bit rough to start with. What we might look at doing is um, pretty much the first first person we find we um, recruit. The other thing we want to do is probably create a melee weapon. A club. Has it hit any yet? Let's hit it once. But a shooting's going up. So the more he does this, we'll eventually get up. This guy's gonna bleed out anyway. He's going for a walk. No. Prioritize. We need food. There we go. He hit it the first time then. Alright, so we don't have a butcher's spot. Uh, production. We need a butcher's table, which will be a little bit of effort. Um, and we can just do a fire when the time comes to cook. But this all means more wood. More wood. Hungry and naked. Bruh. There's people near my house right now doing mad skids. Big skids, so we're pretty much just waiting. We've got the bow, so we've got a visitor. That's good. This guy's got a gun. Man, which which is he from somewhere? Th Th Thethila. Alright, so factions. They're neutral at the moment. So we could totally like wreck him, but then they're gonna be uh, not enemies to start with, but 
they won't really like us. Let's do this one, get this going, because that's some food. Free food once that butcher table's up. Yeah, nice. And it looks like we have enough. Oh, we don't. It, they've just started. It's not actually enough. What I always do with the, the butcher's table is I go, butcher's table, do forever. Because pretty much if you've got dead bodies, you want to made into meat. Especially once you get a fridge. At the moment, it's not going to matter too much. So a visitor would be really cool to hang about it, especially if I get raided right now. I got our ancient danger up here. Have to be careful of raids around that place. So if they break open a door or fires or anything, nope, he's off. See you, Vance. All right. So first thing he's going to do today is butcher. Cool. Then we're going to look at. We're still pretty low temperature, so we're going to put our campfire inside. Do we have enough wood? We do. Awesome. No. Prioritize doing that. We're not going to do it uncooked. Alright, I'm going to force him to do all this sort of stuff. So, prioritize cooking. There we go. And now you get to have that meal, bro. There we go. And then he's not going to have a debuff of eating raw food or something. So we also want it at the moment, while we have no refrigerator or way to um, look after this. We've got a day on it, so that's okay. We can cook it tomorrow for that. There's getting more rice happening. So we've got 13 leather towards our tribal wear, which we need 6 for. 60 for 60 ingredients. Now, I wonder if the. Yeah, I'm pretty sure chinchilla fur does count towards it. Alright, we're set up. So, club was the next thing which we need a bit of wood for. Looks like we might get some out of this guy. So, he might even make this club. I wonder how much that's worth. 40. Okay. A club is worth 40. 40 wood. That's all right. We're going to chop ones that are closer to being 100% grown. Because you get more out of it. And then the ones that you leave there. And keep growing to give you more. Oh, okay. All right, we're going to run straight inside. That's why we created this wall. Now, club would be awesome here. Because what's going to happen is... Yeah. All right. I'm going to watch our health. So if we had a club right now, we'd have a lot bigger advantage to uh, this fight. Let's uh, finish him off, and then we're going to self-tend. So self-tend, and jump in bed straight away. As soon as he's finished this one, because this is free food for tomorrow. All right, let's see what he's going to do. Prioritize tending, please. And we have no medicine or anything. I haven't really looked about for any plants. Bit of medicine because that's going to save the day if we find some of them. We might do some harvesting, but we do have an extra chinchilla now. So now we're up to 26 leather, and that's going to go towards 25. We only got a little bit less off that one, so that's going to go towards our, our tribal wear. Awesome. So, food's looking pretty good right now. We've got no medicine and we're looking for more chinchillas to hunt, to make our coat out of. So, no raids yet. Um, our little base is looking okay. If we do get a raid, what we can do is just chill in here for a long time. Um, they'll probably beat up this, but with only one person, I, I really don't want to be like having a, a, a cut off leg or limbs cut off or something or broken in which they spend a lot of time in bed and don't make any progress. So, we're food starvation. Well, good thing is he's got some berries and we're going to make him cook a meal. Uh, we can still probably get away with one. We'll cook one. We're going to refuel it first, then cook. But because I messed up, I didn't put this on. That's why. That's why he's doing that. We'll just cook all these meals. They'll last a lot longer. Four days. We don't have more than four meals, which we will, but that one will last 1.4 days. So I'll cook that one tomorrow. This is where you got to really control. Let's suspend. Sweet. He's off. How much wood do we have here? 16, so we need another 24 to get our club. Let's look at that. I think we're getting berries, are we not? No, 
shooting this chinchilla. <laughs> Got him. He's getting better. Okay, so he's shooting. Yeah, it's, it's going to take a while to level. But we'll get there. So we are butchering every day. Let's have a look at wildlife. Is there many more chinchillas? We might not get our full 60. So I think what we can do... We can't mix it. That's the problem. Is you have to have a full 60 in one style. You can't. There are some mods that you can get that change it so you can do patch work, like patch leather. Um, but I, I'm running with no mods, so see so how it goes over here with this chinchilla. That's okay. So even if we like run a couple of days without getting our tribal wear, it's not going to be the worst thing. Um, we can spend that time on on putting more crops in, um, expanding our base. The research table is going to make a big difference. Because um, then we can start towards our power down the line of solar panels, all that sort of thing. So he's just chilling beside his fire. How are we feeling today? He'd be getting better. Be getting better. Still ugly environment. It's because we're sleeping him in the storeroom. But very soon he's going to be able to um, build chairs, build tables. That's going to get rid of this one. Still got initial optimism. He doesn't mind building, so because he's building, he gets a little mood buff from that one. Still needs some more for that, so we're still going to be chopping quite a bit. What I'm trying to do too, a little bit, is around my area, is remove some of the trees. So if a fire does burn, um, eventually I'm going to have stone walls or different types of walls apart from wood, and it's not going to build my burn my whole house down, which will make a major difference. So Wolf's off to sleep. He's got a bed. He's hungry, but we've got meals. He's sweaty. That's uh, because now we have the fire inside. Now it's like starting to warm up. So we can actually deconstruct this eventually and move it outside. I'm probably just going to leave it for now. It's actually getting quite warm. I'm going to do it now. And we'll keep an eye on if any more chinchillas come in on the map. Until you be able to research. Yeah, we'll be jumping into here once we research. We go smithing first, get some decent stuff. It's quite a quick one to research. Right. This is going to get our table and our clubs up and up and running. So and that's two more trees. I'll cancel that one because he's cruising. Now we could technically get the rats and do all the rats. We'll probably get sixty leather out of that, but we're just going to keep on trucking with what we're doing. That plan need a meal source. It's because we got rid of the campfire, but it does cool down inside. So now it's it's same temperature inside as outside. Um, and we'll get a fire up and running on the outside here. We do have our club now though. You can store that inside. And this is our first raid. So, Mr. Wolf, is good at melee, pretty average at shooting. So what I'm going to do, build a storage space right there, and this storage space is going to have all our weapons. Pretty cool. So if I go, huh, what we're going to do is remove weapons from here. I believe that means he will haul it to here. So what I'm planning to do is stand here shoot out there at doctor until doctor gets close and then we're going to beat him so we got a simple meal going I'm just going to go like four because they only last four days so every one I make keeps it going doctor's getting closer, we're going to eat at a table and then we're going to prepare ourselves so this is going to remove the debuff here. Actually, I'll still hang around for a little bit, but let's go look. He's getting closer. No, he's just chilling. So we still got a little bit of time. We're cooking. Got a, got a little, little good little base happening here. What I can eventually do is I can move these stones over here in a bit of a line and make it like a barrier. It takes him a little bit longer to get across. It's in a good position to start with already, especially if I'm just going to be inside the door. 
So he's still not raiding yet. He's over there chilling. We might even get a quick nap in before he uh, before he attacks, which would be really good for us. Alright, this I think um, goes towards our wreck time too. At least, yeah, sure it does. Look at that, it's going up. Which is really good. Alright, beginning the assault. How much time do we have? He's got a bit of a run. We can finish the food, then we're going to stay in the doorway and get ready with that club. Come, Doctor. He's coming. Check quickly, no chinchillas yet. This guy's got a knife, so um, he'll do bleeding, that sort of thing. That sort of injury. Uh, we can probably get two more off. No, let's go. So we got the club off. Didn't actually hit him with any arrows, which sucks. How good is this guy at melee? He's better than my dude. Capable of hauling. He'll be actually a really good recruit if we can get him. Yeah, that hurts. And he's going to steal. And I've lost my first game. Nope. He can't get out the door. <laughs> Maybe I'll get a man in black event right now. He's tried to break out the door. Didn't work. There we go. He's taken off. All right. Well, that's episode one of uh, how not to play remote. What I probably could have done is stay inside here and not even try and attack, especially with my guy being a lot worse. Um, that's it. That's game over. This will just sit here now. I don't get any spawns or anything. So there's no saves. I can't save load with this. So that's that's how it is. That's how you play it. And I had a blast. See you next time.